Eritrea is among the most repressive countries in the world. President Asais Afewerki has ruled Eritrea with an iron fist. In Eritrea, there are a lot of people who have been jailed without any legal due process. The people is basically governed by the fear. Eritrea has been a pariah state for decades. It's had no diplomatic relationships with its neighbors. But just this year, we saw a change in those dynamics where Ethiopia and Eritrea finally signed a peace agreement after many years. They are talking about peace, which is great, but uh, nothing has changed as far as the human rights violation in the country. In fact, it's getting worse. The political prisoners remain in jail. There is still no free media, and the parliament still does not exist. Just in mid-September, the former finance minister was arrested and remains in communicado detention as we speak. We are worried for Berhane. Uh, he's 74 years old, and now he has some medical issue. And at this point, uh, every day matters. We want him to be free. We want to see him. We want to, him to be with his kids. But we also want others to be free. There are thousands of political prisoners in the country. My brother was a journalist. He has been detained for 17 years right now, and he never be given a trial, and we could have any access to see him. We don't even know whether he's alive or dead. The government routinely violates religious rights. Three Jehovah's Witnesses were arrested in 1994, and scores have been arrested since then and remain behind bars today. We've interviewed Eritreans outside Eritrea who explain that detention conditions in the country are horrific. Many have faced torture and abuse. We don't know the evidence against them. They've never had a day in court. And ultimately, they have ended up behind bars in communicado for decades. Basically, in Eritrea, if you are to do something which is uh, not preferred by the government, like you will be ended up in jail, no matter what. While this should be a year of optimism for Eritrea, so far we haven't seen any significant changes for the country. For countries who want to do business in Eritrea, they should be concerned about the use of forced national labor, and they should be calling on the government to release political prisoners. Free expression, free assembly, and free association rights should be part of doing business in Eritrea.